Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's TA, I want to remind you that today I'm planning a big surprise for my girlfriend. She's having her birthday today and my surprise for her is that you please guys send to her any kind of amount to her Bitcoin address. Just a little amount of bitcoins just to spam her emails with entries of Coinbase. So you can send even one cent, one dollar, whatever you want, just to spam her Coinbase account. And uh, I know that some of you already sent it some because they wrote me over on Discord. So thank you very much for your support, guys. And this will be a very fun surprise for her. So please, everyone that wants to send just anything also to support my idea, please send her anything to this Bitcoin address that you find down below here. It's written second May donation birthday surprise. So just send anything you want to this address. I would very much appreciate. And I will try to bring her in front of the camera for two tomorrow to say thank you to everyone and i'm sure this is gonna be a very nice surprise for her she's just very new into crypto so thank you very much for your support guys very appreciated and let's spam her emails with this so once more guys thank you very very much for your support very much appreciate and also don't forget to join our free discord trading chat you find the link also down below here because here also we are chatting all the time so if you want to be up to date then you have to join also the free discord trading chat so we can start today with the one hour time frame because bitcoin currently is consolidating after this top that we had here of nine thousand five hundred dollar so here in the one hour time frame we cannot see much but we're coming here to an end of this uh, wedge you can see the rsi is perfectly trading around the 50 area stochastic is in neutral territory even if we go here into the bollinger band you can see that we are squeezing out in this tiny channel macd is flat so here in the one hour we don't see much but as you can see we're coming here to an end and a breakout is imminent to the upside or to the downside and depending also where we're going to break out we have to place our orders because remember that we have the cme close uh, yesterday at eight thousand eight hundred forty dollar so wherever we are going this weekend and start on monday we're going to have a new future gap if we're going to have a big pump or dump during the weekend and here in the four hour here you can see that the breakout is coming because here you can see the rsi is right at the 50 stochastic oversold and the 20 moving average is coming very close here to the main support so in case that we have a breakdown from this wedge to the downside watch out here for this 8630 maybe even down here to the next uh, level at around 8000 this is where we had previous resistance and right now should be acting as a support so i'm planning to open longs here between these 8630 down to 8k in case that we are going to have a breakdown during the weekend because then we will have a new future gap up to 8840 in case that on monday we're going to stay in this region down here so this is what i'm watching during the weekend and of course if we're going to have a big pump here to the upside we possibly could go even up to ten thousand five hundred dollar this is our main target of this uh, pre halvening rally so i still think we could reach this ten thousand five hundred we still have less than 10 days to go till the halvening so I think till then we're going to see continuations of this rally that we are in right now. And even if we go into the Bollinger Band here in the four hour, you can also see that after we were pumping here above the Bollinger Band, right now we completely retrace back into the middle area. And right now we should see here another pump towards the top here of around 10,350. Or in case that we're going to lose this support here, the 8,740, we are possibly going down to at least 8180 based here on the four hour bollinger band so also here it looks like a breakout is imminent and because that we had a bearish cross here in the macd there is a high chance of course that we could see here a bigger dump towards 8k and therefore if you want to long this uh, make sure to be ready over on bybit or femex uh, to open these longs if you think that we're going to bounce here at this 8k level also because if you go over here in the daily time frame you can see that the 8k level the previous resistance now should be acting as support and this is also coinciding here with the 200 daily moving average at eight thousand dollar so there's a high chance that sooner or later we go down to test this 200 daily moving average 
have the confirmation that this is acting now as a support and then we continue to rally to the upside and also in the daily we have completely overbought condition here in the RSI and stochastic so a little retracement back down and a confirmation that we have the 8k now as a support is very possible so in case that you are looking for a good long position and you're still not in a trade then maybe wait for a little correction here possibly down between 8500 to 8000 I'm not gonna short this potential correction here because I think shorting right now, especially now before the halvening event, is very very risky and could liquidate or stop you out very quickly. So I'm now more into longs than in shorts. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the daily, also here you can see that we still completely are overshooting it to the upside. We are currently right at the top. So even here, a complete retracement back down into the middle area here is possible. Maybe we're not going that low down to 7,530. Also MACD still shifted to the upside. So maybe here, this is going to be just a very short lift correction to the downside in case that we're really going that low. And if we have a look also here in the weekly time frame, you can see that we didn't even test here the top area of 10,500. So we still have some room left in the weekly and also the MACD is just having a bullish cross. So let's see how we're going to close this weekly candle because this is going to be very key i think if we can close on sunday above this 8k and above the 20 weekly moving average we should be good to go to the upside to see another big leg up and what makes me even more confident is that we are bringing now the rsi above the 50 and stochastic is shifted to the upside so everything looks like in 2018 just before we had this big run to the upside so you see guys i'm still more bullish than bearish right now i'm still looking for longs but that doesn't mean that you just have to FOMO in at any price I would wait till we're gonna have a little correction because at least in the shorter time frames it looks like that we're gonna see a little correction before another possible leg up so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now remember that if you need a Bybit or Femex account and to trade Bitcoin and other assets uh, with the leverage you find all the sign up links down below here in the video description with my links you can get some sign up bonuses on all exchanges so go down and check them out and please guys remember if you can help me out with this surprise please send to my girlfriend today 2nd of May just any amount you want the smallest amount you want to this Bitcoin address this would help me out a lot it's gonna be a very fun surprise for her she's just having breakfast so as soon as she check her emails she gonna see all these coinbase entries so thank you again for your support guys thank you very much and i will try to bring her tomorrow in front of the camera to say thank you to all of you and of course thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye